Hello everyone! This is Luffy Liss and welcome back to Planet Zoo where we are in our franchise zoo today and we are going to be making some more progress. Hopefully today I plan on, well, adding in another habitat maybe, sprucing the place up with some nature and I've already kind of made a little start on that just a little bit. I have made a little seating area here that is already being used so I'm quite happy about that. So I just thought little bits like this, it just adds to things just a little bit more. I haven't done everything with this yet, but you know, it's a little something and you know, people are actually using it. So that's kind of cool. So you know, when they make that long walk all the way around and then they can just sit down here, plenty of seats for them. They can go inside, grab some food, sit outside, sit inside, whichever way they want to do it. So yeah, no, it's not doing too bad. Now, this space right here is looking a little bit empty. So what I'd like to do here is I'd like to add in maybe an Indian peafowl habitat. So let's get on that today. Because, you know, we're kind of going with the Indian animal theme or Asian. Well, yeah, yeah, kind of like more. We got like uh, the Indian rhinoceroses and we got the saltwater crocodiles, which they can be found within... Asia. So yeah, it is Asia based pretty much. So I think that's what we're going to do. So need to go into animal trading. I'm not sure if I have any Indian peafowls in here yet. I don't think I do. If I do, it'll be a miracle. I do not. Do I even have enough room for any more animals right now? I have enough for two. <laughs> I have enough room for two animals. I should really empty out that storage. Oh gosh. I got so many animals that are just not being used. So Indian peafowl. Amazing. Filter, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, straight away. You are beautiful. What about you? <gasps> You're gorgeous. I want you. You're mine. Thank you very much because you are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And then we need a female. Now, do I go with the white or do I go with the normal? Just usual colors. There's plenty to choose from. I'm going to go with you. Let's do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. I think we'll do it that way. I think we'll have two white peafowls. Leucistic or albino? Albino. Albino? Albino. The, the, you know, it's, it's that, it, that. Yeah, it's one of them. But I think they look gorgeous, so I think that's what we're going for. Here they are. Pretty good stats. Very, very good stats, actually. Hmm. Okay. So, let's just check the Zoopedia. I'm pretty sure they have... No, they have no interspecies en enrichment. They need a land requirement of 312 meters squared. So we can totally do that. That is easy peasy. Are they shy? Are they shy with people? No, they're confident. Guests can enter the habitat, but I think we're gonna leave that side of things for now. Uh, so straight away, I need to make the barrier. Let's get on that. We're gonna go with the usual logs because that's what we've been going what, for since forever. So I'm gonna add one to this. And I'm gonna make it go. Can I angle snap that? I can't angle snap that, so I'm just gonna have to just eyeball that. The plan is, I'm gonna see if I can add that into there. Well, maybe will it? Uh, I'm sure I could have done. I could do this before. Hold on, then. I've done it before, where it just worked out. I will mess with that later. I'll put null barrier through here. And then we need to go back to the normal one. Let me just shrink that down to about that. Bring that back up. Yep, that's not going to go through there, of course. But I think we can build off of these buildings then, make things a bit different. I'm going to put null barrier on this once again gonna make it go in like that. We will clog up the exit points for these animals. But I have I have ideas. I have some ideas of what I'm doing right now. 
I don't want this habitat to be huge. So, what is happening? What am I doing? Angle snap off. Maybe just to there, and then a fence can go like so to here. Like that. And then bounce off this one just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, that's way too long. Angle snap that. Angle snap is not going to let me angle snap. Maybe a bit smaller. Actually, no, I think we're going to have to just move that tree, aren't we? If we move that tree, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll move that tree. That's not in line. It allows you to angle snap in certain situations, but then it's just like, no. See, that's off. That's slightly off. Just slightly off. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, there. Yeah. Alright, so we have a nice roomy habitat right here. Which I think is gonna be quite ideal. So obviously we need the wooden habitat gate, which we can attach to here. Brilliant. And straight away we have our own lovely little habitat with a large land area so we can have so many peoples in here. I love that. So what I want to do now, I want to edit this barrier and I want this to be the main viewpoint right here. So the main viewpoint can be right there. Many people think tickets are underpriced. Well, let me bring that up for you then. Uh, bring that up to 18. There we go. No longer underpriced. So, we need to attach this habitat to the work zone for the tapirs and garials. So we got tapirs, garials, and peafowls. There we go. Okay. And now... Wait, I didn't actually add it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just entered the name hoping that that would work, but no, I actually have to add it. Whoops. Anyway, I'm going to have to add some more keepers to certain ones. I think this is going to get a little out of hand. Animal storage, hello, you beauties. I think they need free in a habitat, actually, so probably need to get another one of these babies. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's get, the, let's get things started. Let's get things started here. Right, I'm going to move this tree. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's gonna go here. There we go. And I think that should be fine. I don't think that's gonna affect the tapirs. There we go. Here they come. This is gonna be such a big space for these little things. Oh. Hello. You are so gorgeous. Oh, I love you so much. Look how beautiful he is. Oh, wow. You are amazing, and I hope I can make this home amazing for you. So there's way too much long grass, but aside from that, he's pretty happy. Is the water thing covering this area? It definitely, definitely is, because it's right there. Wait, is that affecting the guests? <gasps> Ooh, just about not. Oh gosh, that is so close. People who walk right to this edge, though, they are going to get affected by that. Oh no. Okay, so... Just to combat that from the very start, I'm moving this so they don't stand right there. So that'll be the viewing point. Uh, I'm going to bring this one that way a bit, make it more extended. Yeah, that'll do. Anyway, let's focus on the inside of this habitat right now. Oak tree. Oh, yeah, that's that's going to have an effect on you guys, isn't it? Yeah, let's remove that for now then. Can I bring that any closer? Hmm. Any closer. Just no. I swear we've done it before where we could just go through and it didn't matter. Is it this? No, it's not. Is it that? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Go back to the usual one then. All right, well... Well, we'll see. Can they actually get out that way? Can they actually leave? They can. They can. Okay. Well, we'll block that up in our own way in a moment. 
Anyway, this is going to be built up. I'm going to actually edit that and make things more built. But ultimately, this should be okay, I hope. But we'll see. Let's focus on the terrain. I'm thinking of lifting this up just a little bit in parts. Just lifting it up, adding a bit of difference. Actually, not by there, not by there. Because I'm going to have the shelter right here. So we'll lift up this part just here. Just a little bit. And then this part here can go down a little bit, actually. And then down a little bit more. Because we'll add like a little bit of water down this side. Oh, that's too much. That's way too much. I don't want that. Okay, yeah, that'll work for me. I think. I think so. That's really raised. Let's move it out a bit. Let's smooth it. Just so they can. I can make sure that they are fine with this. They will be fine with that. There's, there's, there's no issue, really. Okay, so they don't like a lot of foliage. Terrain, let's do that. Terrain painting. You're not a fan of the long grass a lot, so we're gonna. Kind of get rid of most of that. And add some soil in, yes. Let's add some soil. Put some soil up here. Some darker soil just in here. And we're gonna make a bit lighter just as we go into it. And we need some soil over here. Under here, yes. And that will go into light soil the exit and maybe just maybe we can have just like a little trail just going around this little hill so that's the main actually that looks way too brown here now one sec just lighten it up a little with a little bit of grass and i think that'll be okay so obviously they need hard shelter i'll work on that in just a moment I want to make sure that they are ready to go, just so I can keep playing this and I don't have to worry. So, Indian peafowls, what do you like? What do you like? We have some enrichment for you already, so that's brilliant. So, uh, I think we'll have, uh, hmm. We'll have this right here, because they love those, and then people will be able to see that straight up. The mirror mobile can be mobile, mobile, mirror mobile, can go there. And the sprinkler makes sense to go by the water, really, a little bit. So we'll put that just there. And then the food, large food bowl, up on the hill, probably have to... Make sure that's a bit more softened in a sec. They got water, so we don't need to add water. And we'll add a scent marker just for funsies. Right here. There we go. And just soften this a little bit. Just make sure that they're okay with that. Which they should be. If I lift that up a little. And then soften it. That should be okay. And then... I need to make sure that's blocked up. So, I do believe we have African? No, we do not. What is our mechanics researching at the moment, then? What are they researching? I do not want to hire another mechanic. What am I doing? What am I doing? Ah! Okay, so... Okay, they finished the drink shops. Who was the... You were the one. Yeah, okay. Sophia, I would like you to work on the Africa theme. Because I want the wood log walls, but for now we're gonna have to block this up some other how. Some other how. But for now, for now, it's the word of the day, words of the day. We're gonna just what that I ticked down the wrong place. I'm all over the place right now. I am all over the place. So we are going to go into walls because I'll be things are much easier. Oops, we're going to build this up because I think this might just generally stop them from being able to escape anyway actually I'm a genius 
See now the fence is going in there. I don't have to worry. I could make this bigger as well. Like that. Oh yes. And now they have no way of getting out that way. That is brilliant. I'm so smart. I am the smartest of them all. Obviously they need door ones here. Guys, I'm really hungry. Just a fun fact. I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. Because it doesn't affect you. But I'm hungry. And it's affecting me. And my performance right now, I think. I think that's why I'm a bit all over the place, really. <laughs> it's because my belly is rumbling. But you know, that's fine. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'll add a flat roof to this, just because it's just staff buildings. Is that the one I want? Wooden, yeah. That is the one I want. Why did I change the angle of that? That doesn't make sense. There we go. Just flat roofs. There we go. And then, off of this, there's going to be... Not that. Not that. Wait. Maybe this. And it'll go off like that. And this will be their hard shelter. Is that too high? I think that's too high. Can I bring that down a little? Yeah. Now that, that feels like it's way too out. Maybe I don't need it that wide. I am being fussy. I mean, we can make this look okay. We can we can work with this. Uh, I need different columns, really. I need... This is very simple and easy. This one, this one. That's a different colour, though. That is a different colour. I can't change it. Why can't I change it? Oh, wait, we can just have a white one. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. You know what? I think that'll be alright for now. For now. We can doctor it up and make it look a bit better in a bit. We also need to sort that little bit out. I could make this one whole building, but... Can you get out? Do I need to worry about it right now? I don't need to worry about it. You can't go in that water at all. I guess you guys don't swim. Wait, is it because the edges are too funny? Let's just make it shallow. Just a little pool. How's that? Okay, you guys literally don't go in water. That's fine. It'll be a drinking pond. That's literally fine by me. Uh, bedding, 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 bedding. Not that big. There we go. Smaller again. Okay. And then they can have lots of babies and live happily ever after. Yeah, I knew it. The adult population isn't enough. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. We can do stuff with that. We can totally fix that. And you know what we're not going to forget as well? Education. Because everyone loves a bit of education when it comes to this. So, let's add in our education straight away. Align to surface. X and click and move and do that. Oh, okay, well... You can tell it's not lined properly then. That's fine. I'll ignore it for now. Even though I hate it when it's like that. Okay. Ooh, look at you. You're gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so that's sorted. Obviously, there's no nature in here right now, so we need to do that. And what are you? Temperate tropical grassland and Asia. Okay. So grassland, tropical. Okay, so 
We'll have a tropical side. I'm gonna pause this again because I realize there's a lot of notifications going on up there. We'll have a little tropical side. Have some reeds here, maybe. A strip of reeds, that is on a line to surface. I don't actually want that to be a line to surface right now. A couple of little reeds. Yeah, and we'll make this kind of like tropical. I think that works out well. And just a little, just a little sprucey, uppy sort of thing. Make that the tropical side of things. Put that leaning over like that. I think I like that. And then this can be more overgrown. That's beautiful, I like you. Put that there to hide that that's not attached. I like that. And same here. <laughs> Just hiding the mistakes. That is such a pretty tree. Oh gosh, okay. Yeah, we're having we're having one of these. We're having the big one. And it's gonna go here. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. Tamarind tree. No, we're gonna neglect tamarind tree for now. Okay, already that's way too much trees, so we'll go a smaller one. Just here. Actually, no, I don't like where that is. I'm gonna move it here. So they kind of shut. They have to kind of look around a little bit to be able to see them under there a little bit. How are we for coverage? We're getting there. We are getting there. Get some nettles down. Nettles. That's got some trees already. There's already nettle over there. Whoops. <laughs> and maybe a little here. Actually, no. We'll have we'll have a uh, flowers there. And maybe here as well. With actually no, the flowers don't make sense here. We need one of these. We need because this is the tropical side. This is more tropical. So that makes more sense. And rock-wise, we'll work on that slowly as well. This is looking a bit bland here. Oh, twin flowers! I love these. Just put them dot them around a little bit. Oh, that's large. That's fine. We can put that here. And maybe a little one here. And here. Nope. And here with nettles. Here. Nope. <laughs> I'm so fussy. I'm so, so fussy. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. I mean, I don't like the fact that that's on its own. It looks weird. We will put some temperate rocks in, I think. Or tropical. Tropical? Tropical. Maybe? Then again, I do like the colour of these. I'll put temperate rocks in. So, just to make this make more sense. We'll put a, put a rock there. <laughs> I know that's just like my my kind of go-to thing to fix things is just place a rock down but it does help it really does help put this down make the ground look a little different and then place another rock just here something that they can climb up onto and then one more can just be dipping into here and Maybe a big ol' rock that they can jump onto can go. I don't even need that one, I need this one. We can do... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I think, and then we can add a bit more foliage. And I know what I want. I want the nettles. Just to surround this a little bit more. Same here and here. And I think that will be fine for now. We just need one more peafowl and I will be very happy with this habitat. Now should we go with a white one again or should we just go with a... I don't want to say normal. Oh no, we brought an inbreed. No, stop it. I don't want it. Need one with really good genetics. I know what genetics I want. Yes, 
Immunity and fertility. It's gonna be you. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Hold on, then. Wait. Maybe not the highest that it could possibly go. Why is it not showing any now? Really? We're just gonna be like that? Okay. Well, what about you? Nope. You? You're all... Nope. I want one that is going to be awesome. So it's looking like... I think you. That's... that's you're 10 years old. No. No, 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 no. They're expensive. All of the... Like... Uh, I mean... I guess we could go all white. I mean, I'm kind of curious whether that will... I mean, what are these like? These are just for cash. I, I'm kind of curious as to whether... Oh, no, it's fine. I'll go with this one. I was just going to say, I'm kind of curious as to whether, like, all white ones will breed mostly just white ones or not. Okay, so, no. That's your father. So, you're not doing that. Not today. Okay, you've matured as well. So, you're going. And what else? You've had offspring. You're expecting offspring. You've matured. Okay, so you need to go in the box. You've matured. And... You were in the box already, so we did that last time. You're about to inbreed. Yes, I just picked you up. Very, very lucky. Very lucky. Alright, so... I think on that note, we are going to leave this episode here for now. But I'm very happy with the outcome of this habitat. It is looking pretty good, and these lovely p-files are looking gorgeous. So yeah, oh there we go, there's the uh, other girl that we've got. She's looking beautiful as well. Hello dear. Yes, you are gorgeous. Yes, you are. Okay. So people are enjoying this already, so that's nice. Uh, let me know what you think of this habitat. It's very kind of a quick build, really, very simple. But it works out well for these guys, so I think we'll be okay. But let's see what happens in the next episode. We'll probably do a bit more detailing around the park. I didn't really have enough time to do that today. But that's fine. It's okay. We got this done. I got this habitat done. I was really planning on just doing this mainly. So we got that sorted. So I'm very, very happy with that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I'd really appreciate that too. And I will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.